And state political reporter Bridget Glanville joins us now. Bridget, what's the latest on the result? Well, actually, um, this afternoon, 84% is now counted. And Anthony Green, the ABC's election analyst, has said the best estimate he has is that the Shooters, Fishers and Farmers Party will take the seat of orange, a narrow victory, 50.7%. So that could be you know, under 1,000 votes. What a massive swing against the Nationals. How significant is it? It's a huge swing, you're right, against the Nationals. This was National Party core heartland and it's got many of the MPs worried. In some of the polling booths, Juanita, they were seeing swings against the Nats of 60%. The overall swing of 35%, as we heard, is the biggest in by-election history. And I've been told from a number of MPs from voters that it was very clear Greyhounds, local councils and Troy Grant's leadership were behind the reasons. So what's the future for the party? Well, there's a lot of soul searching going on. Troy Grant was given a bit of a reprieve when they announced the decision to reverse the Greyhound racing ban. They always said we're going to see how things have gone in Orange. But now that things are much worse, his leadership is definitely under threat. We know on Tuesday there's going to be a spill. We're waiting to hear who will contest it. John Barillaro, the member for Monero, his name has been talked about and that's going to be interesting. He's a very good friend of Troy Grant's. Troy Grant's the godfather to his youngest daughter. It's going to be messy. So taking it one step further, what does it all mean for Mike Baird? Well, Mike Baird won't want this to happen because it's messy and bloody. It's going to cause Mike Baird to have a reshuffle sooner than he will like. It could cause more by-elections. But just overall, having a leadership spill in the Nats of the coalition is disunity and he doesn't want that. Bridget Glanville, thank you.